Okay, so you see all those stars at night and wonder if we're alone? Guess what? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is like a super powerful magnifying glass, giving us crazy good views of faraway planets. JWST recently checked out this planet called K2-18b, and scientists are hyped. It looks like K2-18b has water vapor, which could mean it can support life. And get this, it's got a molecule that's linked to life here. This is a big deal. Could be the moment we find out there's life out there. This video is about that chance. We're checking out K2-18b, looking at the science and kind of losing our minds thinking about how this could change everything. K2-18b goes around a star that's 120 light years away. It's like a super Earth, somewhere between Earth and Neptune. We don't have anything like it here. It's smaller than Neptune, but still strange. So scientists still don't know what's going on. We can compare it to rocky planets or gas giants, but it's still a bit of a puzzle. But here's the thing, K2-18b is in the habitable zone of its star, so there might be water on the surface cool, right? What's strange is that it's closer to its star than we are to the sun. So, a year on K2-18b is only 13 Earth days. Thank goodness the star doesn't blast out as much heat as our sun. Otherwise, the planet would be toast. That's how we saw water vapor in the air, which is amazing since it could mean life. The JWST also saw methane and carbon dioxide. Methane is cool because it soaks up sunlight super fast. The thought of getting dimethyl sulfide DMS is exciting though. Here on Earth DMS is usually made by tiny sea creatures. If we spot DMS on K2-18b, that might point to microbial life. Even though the planet gets hammered by space rays, if K2-18b has a steady atmosphere like ours, it could actually have oceans that are slightly warmer and its oceans may not disappear, meaning good news for life. Some think water on the surface might be pretty normal for these ocean exoplanets. Back in 2021, a physicist, Niku Midhushin, thought up the term Hycean planets. So, these planets are bigger than Earth, have massive hydrogen atmospheres, and probably have huge oceans. These are heavier than Earth and can be twice the size of Earth. Even though these might be around 200 degrees Celsius, their waters may have bacteria living in it. Their atmospheres will keep the water far from the star liquid. Looking for life there might change how we see the world. Finding ocean worlds isn't a piece of cake. To learn about K2-18b, scientists took data for five hours split into two parts. As the planet went in front of its star, the JWST grabbed data that passed the planet's atmosphere. The prism splits light into rainbows, so the scientists can tell what molecules are in the atmosphere. This tells us what's going on with the planet. Like the video? Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and tell your friends so they can watch too. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Imagine being 124 light years away and orbiting a red dwarf star somewhere in the Leo constellation. That's K2-18b, and people are super interested in it. Scientists think K2-18b may be a Hycean world, with massive oceans and a hydrogen atmosphere. So that means it's a good spot to keep looking for life. These planet atmospheres make them hard to search for using telescopes. The James Webb Space Telescope is new and can see further into space. It lets scientists check out what's in the air of exoplanets. With K2-18b, JWST found methane and carbon dioxide. If the gases are lining up and in the right amounts, it could be life or something else, so we should invest more. DMS is usually made by sea life, and if we find it in K2-18BS air, it'll be a big sign of life. But since DMS could also maybe be made without life, we should do more tests to see if DMS is really in the air. K2-18B is a big step towards seeing if the universe is just us or not. It doesn't prove life is out there, but gives us leads to look into. Getting to see the Hycean planets could change how we see what planets life can live on. And as tech gets better, it'll be more and more to see where life lives. This is just the start. The future will show how this mysterious planet can show life. Each step lets us find out if life can live on other planets. This is about more than space. Finding life would change almost every field there is. It will start a new view about biology, philosophy, and what it means to be human. 
if would suggest life isn't rare and happens when the right amounts come into play. This makes K2-18 be great for scientists. It gives a chance to see how life might get made in the galaxy. If life lives there, it might be different. We still need to be patient and careful. Claims of life need to go into extreme check-in to avoid mistakes, because too quick can hurt the hunt for life. So, teams from different fields are teaming up to get a picture of K2-18b. They are making better tools so future missions can visit these ocean worlds. K2-18b will help the hunt get more focus in years to come. Future telescopes and space missions will be able to check stuff very well. For now, K2-18b is one of the more possible chances of alien life. This makes us question more and stay interested when looking for others. The search for life in space is like looking at the life in us. That search has just started to. Finding possible life is a moment causing us to think about the sky. For generations, we always wondered alone. This is real, not a dream that could point toward something. If molecules like DMS are in the atmosphere, that hints life will be in a way like we do here. Life might not need our conditions, but some steadiness like a warm ocean and protected air with the right chemistry. If those come into play, life might just be on its own. The tech made a crazy step to see our universe. JWST is new to our eye-level point of view. Older telescopes saw our air, but now JWST can see the air in infra. JWST can't take pics, but read them telling us the gases above us. Imagine reading air more than 100 light years away, like cosmic telescopes. We get great data, but subtle. With a few hours under the light, months and years will be solved. But JWST is the start. It will specialize in air science and search for not just water, but the perfect biosignature suits. The more missions, the more knowledge. What is life? Where can it stay? And how common is it? Habitable exoplanets change or view about Earth too. It reminds us that Earth is rare, but maybe not lone. We need to better our planet with better care. This means we are a part of something and if we're alone, it makes us responsible. We need be philosophical too. Finding life even if micro will change beliefs. We rethink as we look, spiritual and scientific. How do we define who we are? We think space is silent. But what if it's a garden as planets grow? If K2-18b will be one of those places, life might be alive that we don't know. These are difficult and need replication. We need observations and data. Science is slow, so it makes stuff strong. As we see new things, we can theory create evolution-wise. What we learn is a new chapter if space is alive. We found in thousands, even millions of planets like K2-18b. And the beginning of the story is now. So what if life happens onto or not? Where does it come from? Are we unique? And are we truly alone? The hunt lives on. What might life on K2-18b be like? Let's imagine but still be in tune. This planet is likely a Heisen world and will be covered in an ocean but a hydrogen like air. No solid ground, just water and a sky and endless warm sea. Life would be in those waters. Oxygen is the same thing there, so rely on it. Chemical energy will be how is made. Maybe eats hydrogen or methane. It might be small but groundbreaking. Small life can also mean the universe is teeming it up and oceans we can't see. Squid, jellyfish, and maybe light can work to send sound. Chemical to feel to. Life might be a gas. JWST is our eyes the beginning. Louvoir might be able to pick ground with air like ours. Habex can help see space with shade. If those are not, we can look for common patterns. A mission can be sent, but they take time. Be patient, and it must molecule made planet made. Why does this all mean? So we can be human and have quest. Voyager will be the reason we can and want to explore. The best is also to came. Voyager is a symbol of what human and never giving up. Tech or science is here but human in the human spirit. The fluctuations is it may hold our universe. And there is new physics and energy coming. Voyager might be a key to accelerate steps. Voyager is making deep exploration more of a step. Voyager once thought was fiction and not reality. Voyager taught us to be curious and to push ourselves even how far we know. We've always looked to the stars, but now we're getting close. 
If we find something out there, it'll change everything. It will unite. It might not be UFOs, but it sure will be a sight. K2-18b, sitting their way out there, might hold the idea that the universe is full of life and we're all not the miracle of the solar system. K2-18b shows the idea that conditions the galaxy might be home, and connected than we ever thought.